What's up guys, in today's episode I'm doing mulberry cuttings. It's that time of the year, we chop down our mulberry trees and now we have hundreds and hundreds of mulberry cuttings to actually propagate ourselves. But guess what, we also ship them all the way across the United States. So let me show you what's going on. So this one right here is my Shangri-La mulberry. As you can see, it has been chopped down, I would say around 10 to 15 feet. This is about 8 feet tall. If you go to my videos uh, in my channel, you can see what the tree looks like during the growing season. But this is what it looks like in the winter. And this pile right here is the Shangri-La cuttings. Nothing but Shangri-La cuttings over here. We make sure 100% when pruning the trees that we keep our cuttings separate so that way we don't get them mixed up. And this tree right here is the Pakistan mulberry. This one got severely pruned down this year simply because we want to keep it shorter so that way it will branch out lower to the ground and it's easier to reach the fruits. It is about 8 feet tall and you can tell it is nothing compared to what it usually looks like during the growing season. But this is what it looks like in the winter. And all the Pakistan mulberry cuttings they're right over there. Nothing but Pakistan in this area. We keep them separate. The next variety that I'm doing cuttings from right now is the uh, Australian Green Chatut. Green Mulberry, White Pakistan, King White. This tree right here has so many different names. I lose track. But if the fruit looks like the one you see on the screen, that's exactly what I'm talking about. This tree here got severely pruned down as well. It was almost as tall as the pine tree over there, but now it is about, I would say, 10 feet tall. And all the cuttings, they're right here. We keep them separate because the worst thing you can do when propagating plants is to get your cuttings mixed up so you don't know what you got. And if that ever happens to you, the only way to find out is to wait until your plants fruit or they wake up. Some plants you can distinguish what varieties they are but just by looking at the foliage. Other ones like mulberry trees, mainly you're gonna have to wait until they're fruit. Nothing but white Pakistans right here. So not only we propagate our own mulberry uh, trees from our own trees here at the nursery, we also sell a lot of cuttings online. One of the things that I hated the most when I first started was buying cuttings online getting the cutting in the mail, propagating it, and then when he actually fruited, it was not what I purchased. And I wasted, you know, one to two years because sometimes it takes that long to actually get fruits. So one of my missions in life is if I ever sell cuttings, you are going to get 100% exactly what you purchased online. So if you buy any of my, my Shangri-La cuttings, you're going to get cuttings from this pile right here or if you buy my Pakistan or green mulberries, you're gonna get exactly what you purchased online. But like I said, so we ship a lot of uh, mulberries online. So these are the boxes that we use. These are four by four by 20 inches. And these are the same boxes that we use to ship most of the trees that we sell here at the nursery. So I got a few orders to fulfill, fulfill here. I have some more that I got to print. But the first person to get, um, let me see. First person we have David right here and he's in California. And David purchased 10 green chatoed mulberries. Come on, Shelly. So when getting cuttings, what I like to do personally is I like to give people what I would like myself to get in the mail. So normally, my cuttings are gonna be close to 20 inches long, like this one right here, and this is how I measure. So this is gonna be one cutting right there, and then I use that one as a sample to get the rest. And cuttings, when getting cuttings, you wanna make sure you get the most uh, butts in there. So I will never ship you wood without any butts like this, cause this is just wasteful. But if you can see in the back, there is actually a bud in the back. So that one is good. So the skinny ones like this, I usually do not count those. You can still propagate them. But you know what, people like the thicker ones. So this guy's right here, I usually cut and those are usually free of charge. I do not include those into the total amount that you purchased online. So those are gonna be freebies right there. So we got one, two, three, four, 
five and we got six and three free boosters so i need four more all right so i got my cuttings right there so the next thing i like to do with cuttings like i said i do everything that i want people to do for me when buying cuttings online i label them each cutting individually so this one is going to have a w and then a p and that means why pakistan so we got two there let's see three four five six seven eight nine and then and I make this one right here 10 so that's 10 and to show a little appreciation for your support David I'm gonna go ahead and send you all these cuttings right here on the house because you're that cool if you want to get extra cuttings like David is well next year you can go ahead and pre-order your cuttings and you'll be the first one to get your order shipped and get some freebies as well after I start shipping usually we do not do freebies like this simply because well we don't have enough it seems like we do but I can tell you once we start propagating our own trees after shipping we really don't have that many left there we go so we have all the cuttings right here and then I use some plastic wrapping plastic like this so this one's done and then I also label your bundle so you know exactly what you got so not only are your cuttings going to be labeled the actual for those of you buying different varieties I also label the actual bundle like this so this one's gonna be green mulberry so this one goes in the box just like that and then papers got wet here so I gotta find David No, oh, I guess I forgot his uh, uh, packing slip for David. Oh, oh well, David. So if you're watching the video, you know who you are. David in California. And then uh, hopefully you didn't forget what you purchased. So usually I put a packing slip in there, but since I don't have it right now and I'm making this video, we're gonna go ahead and skip the packing slip for David. So this one, it's tape. Let me see. Oh, my labels are getting wet. All right, David. Got it right here. Done. And then there we go. Man, this is like coming out terrible. Normally, I'm a lot neater than this. But since you guys want to watch what I do, don't judge me. Okay, David. Sorry, your label got all messed up. I promise we'll get to you. Okay, so this, this is it, guys. This is ready to go to California for David. So I got a few orders to fill in here. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about cuttings while I get some cuttings. The next one, I have six Pakistans and six white. Okay, my Pakistan bundle right here. No mistake in this one. So, there we go. This is gonna be a freebie. Because you're awesome. There we go, one, five. Uh, you know what, we got several freebies in here, so we'll count this three here as one. And we need uh, six green mulberries. One. 
Uh, I'll give you another free one right here. That's there, and then this one will be the last one. There we go. Those guys here are gonna stay on my right hand. Okay, I'm putting the green mulberries down here. And then keeping the Pakistans on my left hand. So, we do the same as we did with uh, the other mulberries. We're gonna go ahead and mark them. This ones are gonna be Pakistan. So all the Pakistans, we're gonna have a letter P for Pakistan. And these are not hairs, these are just, um, I don't know what they are. Oh, actually, yeah, this is my horse hair, look at that. So if you get a, uh, this orange hair looking thing in the mail, well, I guess my horse rub his butt against this branch before I cut it off. Oh well, it's a sign for good luck. So all of them are marked. Now we're gonna go ahead and wrap them. Let's go ahead and do the green mulberries now. For the green mulberry or white Pakistan, I usually call them white Pakistan because that's the most known name out there. So we're gonna have a W and then we're gonna have a P for white Pakistan. So this order right here is going to Amy, who is located in Arizona. Oops, I guess I made one of the cuttings too long, Amy. I'm gonna have to cut this off to make it fit in the box. Okay, Amy, we got six green and six packing sands. And then here's your packing slip, Amy, in case you've forgotten what you ordered a month ago. Here we go. That's two right there. What do we have next? Next we have Victor. Victor is in Texas. And Victor got six white and six Shangri-La. All right, Victor. So we got one right there. And then that's gonna be your freebie. And I'm gonna send you a fat one, Victor. Cause I know you like them thick. Why Pakistan? All right, Victor wants some Shangri-La mulberries. Usually Shangri-La uh, cuttings, um, you can tell the difference just by looking at them. This is what the Shangri-La looks like. They're more, uh, they don't have like the specks, like the Pakistan or the uh, white. Um, well, actually they do, Never mind. I don't know. But anyways, that's why I'm making this video so that way you guys know exactly what, I, what you're getting. All right, so while I'm getting Victor's cuttings right here, we're gonna go ahead and talk about things to look for when buying cuttings online, especially from people who you not who you don't know. So the first thing you need to look for is when you get your cuttings in the mail, well, you want them to be as fresh as possible. So this guy's right here, I think we cut them down maybe two weeks ago. Now, yes, they've been out here in the open, but it's been cool 
and then I'm not actually making the cuttings until right now. So that minimizes the uh, moisture loss in the cuttings. And also when you get your cuttings in the mail, you can easily tell when you get fresh cuttings because for one, you can see on the inside, they're very moist. They're starting to wake up. And also you can check the weight of the cutting. They're gonna be a little heavier than a dry out cutting. Um, and also when you get uh, hydrated cuttings, or fresh cuttings, you can also tell if they're fresh or not just by looking at the bark. Usually, as the cuttings start drying out, they're gonna shrivel up. They're gonna get wrinkles on them. As they get the wrinkles, well, that means that the cutting itself is losing moisture on the inside. Is that a problem? It is a problem because that is what's keeping that cutting alive. And usually when making cuttings, it's usually a race to get roots before your cuttings dry out. This is why a lot of people online tell you to put a bag over your cuttings, to keep the humidity higher and all that good stuff. It's simply because that's keeping the cuttings from dehydrating as fast as if you had them exposed in full sun to open air. But mulberry cuttings in general, I have never had an issue with them drying out. Believe it or not, this pile of mulberries right here, uh, as long as direct sunlight doesn't hit it, uh, it can easily stay viable for months and months. Actually, if you check my channel, you can see um, I have a video about propagating Pakistan mulberry cuttings. And you can see I had cuttings in the little baggies viable for like six months after I started them. Yes, six months. And all the moisture they had was just inside those little baggies. Some people are gonna tell you that you can put your cuttings in the refrigerator and that's gonna keep them viable longer. Yes, that will, but they will still dehydrate even in the refrigerator. So the fresher the cuttings, the better it's going to be for you. Now, Shangri-La in general, it's one of the easiest varieties uh, to propagate. So you shouldn't really have an issue propagating this one. If you wanna learn how to propagate your uh, mulberry cuttings that you're getting from me, all you gotta do is check my channel. I got a few videos on propagating mulberry cuttings. Shelly. There you go, Victor from Texas. Your cuttings are ready to go. I appreciate your support again. All right, guys, so I got a few more cuttings to do. Uh, it's starting to rain, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like when we do cuttings. Now, this pile right here, it looks like a lot of cuttings, and uh, it's not. Once we start actually getting a few hundred cuttings out of it, the pile will diminish very quickly. And like I said earlier, around this time of the year is usually when we do our mulberry cuttings. Now we'll be shipping out cuttings for the next few weeks, but usually as soon as they start waking up, we stop because we don't want our cuttings to dry out on the way to you and we want you to be successful. I want you to be successful. Mulberry trees are one of the easiest plants to propagate out there from cuttings. Some varieties take longer to actually root than others, but in general, all varieties will root from cuttings. This year I'm actually rooting out a lot of green mulberries, white Pakistan, from cuttings. I'm also going to be grafting a lot of them. I'm going to be making videos showing you the process, but yeah, all of them take. It's just a matter of how long do they actually take to root. As always guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. Now, if you're watching this video and it's off season and you're wondering, hey, how can I get cuttings? Well, you can go to my website and if it's off season, you can pre-order the cuttings. They will not ship until they're ready to be shipped. So depending on when you pre-order your cuttings, it may be a few months before we ship out. But I can guarantee you, I will personally get the cuttings, package them, and get them to you 100% guaranteed. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you next time.